Hello, hello, dears, and welcome to the sunny, gorgeous Benidorm with blue, baby blue skies. It's April. It's a work day. Everything went back to normality. Children are at school. Adults are working. Holidays are over. And we are in Rincon de Loich, right next to the Sundays and Wednesdays market. This is where it is located, right next to the Hotel Pueblo Benido. And from here, we'll be having a lovely sunny walk down the Rincon de Loich streets to show you around and let you know which new businesses have appeared, which ones have closed and what you can expect if you will be coming right now on holidays. Just to remind you that this market right here in front of you, we have plenty of videos about it in winter, in summer season, in spring, all year around. So check this out. Just put Sunday market or Wednesday's market, Benidorm by Anna, and you will find the complete guide on the market. Basically, this is a touristic market of Benidorm, but also locals do shop here. You can try out typical Spanish and Mediterranean foods, fruit, vegetables, buy some flowers either to plant them somewhere on the terrace or as a decoration to put them into the vase in water. You can also buy here some bouquets for happy birthday. Grab some Spanish snacks, drinks, freshly pressed juice, and much, much more. Obviously, souvenirs, clothing, and accessories are also available out there. Right in front of the market, we have a quick safe supermarket. We have this place that's called Fusion, which right now is not open. The ATM machine Amigo 24, which is a very famous, a lot of hotels work with it, a very famous scooter rental. These are mobility scooters that you can rent out right here or just contact the hotel's reception and they will book it for you. Just let you know this is actually an option. Don't be afraid to ask the hotel reception if you need anything because usually as a former reception worker, I can let you know that almost all the things that you will ask for, you're usually able to get. And this staff, hotel staff, is able to help you out. Right in front, we have the area that will be changing very, very soon. By the way, just a couple of days ago, there was another fire. This time, it was on a private land where there is like, a, like a, it looks like a huge dumpster. It looks like a huge place where they just dump garbage. And there was a fire. It was extinguished in no time, but still another fire here in the area. I have a feeling we'll be having an interesting year here in the area of the future best area of Benidorm because this will be amazing. The future plan with more than 20 hotels, residential buildings, parks, green areas, swimming pools, it's going to be great. Walking towards the center of Rincon de Loich, we can find some interesting businesses. Here we have menu of the day, mixed salad or cream soup, paella or a meat meal. It's three course meal. Oh, wow. Three course meal, bread, dessert, and a drink, 13 euros. That is so cheap for a three course menu. Wow. That might be officially one of the cheapest menus here in the area. That is insane. Fitzy's Homemade Food and Sports. Is this a new name? Formerly the chicken. See, I knew it. I knew it. Closed on Monday. By the way, our hobby is filming today's video, as you can see. Closed on Monday. All the rest of the days, it's opening more or less on midday. That's interesting. Either it's the same owner, but they just did change the style on the inside, or it's a brand new owner, and they just want people to know that this is where the previous kind of famous business in Rincon de Loich was actually located. That's interesting. So first new business already here in the area. This street, by the way, gets really, really busy in summer. There's plenty of summertime short term rentals like holiday apartments, Airbnbs of a kind in this particular part of Benidorm since it's mostly known for tourism. 
obviously there's a lot of places here where to choose from also there are some for sale in this particular part and they do cost around 110 120 130 euros from that amount starting you are actually able to get one or two bedroom apartment in this particular part of benidorm town cafe blue sea which is called mar azul in spanish another lovely cafeteria here which is run usually not by it's just by family more or less business here we have churros with chocolate okay 350 waffle 320. they have some patatas bravas alioli and some more things out here twister of shrimps i wonder what that actually is <laughs> There's quite a lot of different things, interesting things out here to try out. Um, some of them are typical Spanish. Some of them are international snacks, just random snacks you can find in different bars and restaurants and cafeterias here in the area. Towards our left side, there are such hotels as Melia Benidorm, Flamingo Oasis, the Levante Club, and nearby we also have the hotel dynastic which we can see already by its orange uh, balconies directly and towards our left side we will see it in no time right by the small uh, two three floor houses there is a future brand new health center which covers social security Plus the hospital Imed Levante, which does cover the vast majority of international insurances. Doesn't depend if you come from uh, Lithuania, from Poland, if you come from UK, Ireland, Scotland, uh, US, uh, Scandinavian countries. They will probably cover it if you have an insurance. This is new. Ooh, that's nice. La Colada. This is new. This is an automatic washing self-service, if you wish. And for five euros, you are able to wash a lot of your belongings. And this is actually great because beforehand, these services before did not really exist. So you needed to actually pay the hotel service to uh, wash your laundry. But now for five euros, you're able to wash all of it and then dry it for a couple of euros more. In any case, it's going to be way less expensive than if you would uh, ask the service in the hotel d'angelo tattoo place this is actually a or an artist that did my hubby's tattoos some of his tattoos and i could definitely recommend him he makes amazing designs so instead of just going to some random place on the beach and risking that it might not go well if you want a tattoo in benidorm this is the place i definitely can recommend you to uh, go nearby we have these um bar place which is rohdis all day breakfast snacks full english menu you've seen the prices more or less on the screen right now they have english breakfast medium oh medium 395 jumbo 595 and large almost 10 euros that's not as bad these are the typical prices right down this alley we will find the future health center and the hospital i met levante here nearby there is a, they call it comercial which is like a, a shopping place uh, it's like a supermarket it's a supermarket there's a lot of uh, organic there's a lot of nice local foods from local um, agriculture which is actually great here there is how mar uh, i hope i'm saying it right it's a tea room coffee shop pastry and bakery they have some very very nice things for those who love something sweet either to take away or to have it right here a great selection of coffees as well and great tea selection here there is another restaurant probably they will be opening it up soon where you can try typical spanish food mostly and there's also English breakfast, small one, 450, large, 650. We would need to compare what a large and XXXL means from the other place. Maybe they're quite similar. And like this, it would be easier to compare the prices because in the previous one, the small one costs just 350. 
cafe, danfest, breakfast, snacks and food is closed today. A lot of businesses might be closed at some specific points of a work week. That doesn't mean they're closed forever. That just means that on some special days they're having days off because the owners of these places are not able to find enough staff to work, which is why they're forced to close for one day. Look at this, from Tuesday to Saturday and then on Sundays, menu of the day, entree, first meal and second meal. Okay, so it's a three course menu, 14 euros, includes bread with alioli and some dessert. Alpha Clinic, is that new? Aesthetic medicine and dental? That is actually very, I find it strange. Oh, and another one, meat supermarket. Wow, there's quite a lot of interesting and new things out here. Right by the Hotel Dynastic, which is this one with the orange balconies. They have a nice children's splash area out here. Then the adults swimming pool, like the usual swimming pool. On the outside, they have the inside swimming pool and like a small part of the spa and much, much more. We actually filmed it all because we did a video on Dynastic Hotel probably like a year ago. And we've showed you not only the rooms and the common areas, but also swimming pool parts. So you would have a complete idea of what it looks like. Right in front, we have some more useful businesses. Obviously, pharmacy is one of them. You need sunscreen, you have a sunburn and you need something desperately. You need uh, plasters like for blisters or anything. Anything you might need for a headache, a sore throat, anything. You can get it out here in pharmacies. This is the one in Rincon Deloitte. Then you have optics and a hearing place um, where you can buy something if you need, you, if you've lost your vision, like glasses or anything, you can do that. This is for so far, for now, wanted to say, this is the consultorio Rincon Deloitte. This means that this is a health center. Okay, this is a health center right now in Rincon de Voyage, uh, but it's not going to be for a long time. Once the new one is built, this one probably will close down. A tobacco place, money exchange, UK brands tobacco as well. Oh, that's interesting. And right next to it, there is a bank, Sabadell, for example, one of the typical Spanish banks. Their ATMs are better as well as the other Spanish banks ones simply because if something happens you will have a help 24 hours uh, straight away you can ask the bank a worker and they do not charge you abusive commissions which is why these ones are recommended oh there's another supermarket in front as well a lot of new businesses are opening up right now before summer time here towards our right we have many businesses different ones depending on what you need. Mostly these are shops. There's a lot of Chinese style bazaars. There's even dental clinic right here nearby. The typical Spanish supermarket Mas y Mas is also here. This one says it's basic. Uh, this means that they have all basic products and things that you need for food or household, but it might not have all the selection as the bigger shops have. Here nearby, Bar Aquarium, this is considered low-cost place. Paella for a ration is 1150. Uh, small beer, 160. Pint, 2 euros. English breakfast, 5 euros. This is actually a very nice place. This one would be recommended. This is a good place to go, this type of a bar. And right next to it, there is a shopping center, the indoor market of Rincon de Loge. It's called Mercaloj. And on the inside, you have a lot of things. Uh, shops, you have birthday cards in English and other languages, you have a money exchange. They actually have the best money exchange, to be honest with you, in this indoor market. They have uh, Spanish food, typical British homemade food. They also used to have a place where, where they re repair shoes, but right now it's not the case any longer. If you need to repair some shoes, there is a place in Carrefour right next to the shopping mall, La Marina. Uh, you can go there by bus if you desperately need a shoe repair here in Benidorm town, or there must be something in the traditional city center too. But the easiest is the um, shopping center, the Carrefour. 
Apart from that, obviously, there's typical souvenirs, there's magnets, there's postal cards, all that you can actually see right here more or less it's the same on the inside a great place we do have a couple of videos about it you can check it out here on the channel the indoor market rincon deloitte just search for it benidorm by anna indoor market and you will find it in no time this is what rincon deloitte is looking like right now it feels like summer and busy as in summer too a lot of new businesses a lot of changes in benidorm We'll see you in a new video.